Hello, everybody. This is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Back. Back with another video. Gonna do some crafting, though. So, everybody, let's go. Check out my video. If you wanna get it right, come join Delicious Bites. Check it, check it, video. Check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another quick and easy beautiful craft with d so let's get into it this is friday night's craft and sip this is white niagara from maza vineyards this is from um pennsylvania can't get it in ohio it is brought to me every year i get one bottle a year at christmas salut Not too dry, not too sweet. I like it. So one bottle a year is what I get. It's brought to me at Christmas time. That's the only time I get it. These are Ritz Cheez-Its. I guess Ritz is trying to make a Cheez-It. They taste okay. But I wouldn't buy them again. So let's get into this craft going to do a neutral um, Valentine's Day craft. I want it to be farmhouse. I want it to be, um, you know, still have that kind of country feel. So I'm going to try not to do any red. So we're going to get rid of this. This I would get rid of anyway, even if I wasn't going farmhouse. Because it's just a little, little gaudy for my taste. I mean, if you like it, I love it, but not for me. So, this is one of those deals where you just got to pull everything off. See if I can get it started with the scissors. Okay. I think. So, how's everybody doing today? I pray you are doing well. Blessed and highly favored. I truly do. So you guys, you just got to work this off of here. It ain't coming off easy either. There we go. At least I thought we could just unwrap it, but it keeps getting caught somewhere. All right, I'm not going to use up all my camera time fighting with this. So once I get this off of here, I'll be back. Whew. Okay, you guys, I'm back. And I just want to let you know, this was a beast to get off. Oh, my goodness. I had to throw the scissors down and get it with the wire cutters. And be careful because even though you can't get this mess off of here, it's very flimsy, this piece underneath. I broke it right here so I had to rig it up with some hot glue and some twine it's gonna be fine you're not gonna see that but oh my gosh so now I'm cutting off these little spiky pieces like how when we did the witch's hat but the witch's hat came off so much easier this thing was crazy but we're gonna move on Cut all those off, and I'll be back when they're all gone. All these little pieces right here. Got to go. They got to go. All right. Now that that's all done and my space is cleaned off, let's actually get to it. Oh, it's very simple. That part wasn't, but the rest of it is simple. We're just going to wrap it in this nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I have two just in case one is not enough. And nautical rope, they got the end taped on it. I probably shouldn't pull it apart, but I'm going to glue it anyway. You can burn it like singe the hairs if it's um, too much. So we're just going to start wrapping. 
glue and wrap. going to keep wrapping it until it's all done. I'll be back when it is. Oops. So I'm still wrapping the nautical rope and hoping that two, piece, two um, packs is going to cover because that's all I bought, guys. I've got some other um, rope, but it's not the same color. So I'll know when I finish this if it covers half. And if it doesn't, and I have to open the other pack to get to half, then I will probably do the other side all in flowers. So it'll look like it was supposed to be half rope, half flowers. We will see, we will see. And I just ended up using one of my clamps from Dollar Tree to hold that down until I get ready to um, glue the ends together. If you want to make it easier to wrap, you can cut your nautical rope into smaller pieces and wrap it. I didn't cut it. I just wrapped it as it was. And it was a little tedious to begin with, a little cumbersome, but I just kept working with it. And as you can see, now that it is shorter, of course it's easier to wrap. I'm going to cut this piece out. I'm not going to use that to hang it. I will make a hanger if I need to, but this piece is in the way and it has got to go. Of course, I will cut it open because that's just me, y'all. I'm about to glue it right on back together, too. Because <laughs> that's just me, y'all. <laughs> and just letting you know that these things happen. And when they do, you keep moving. If you are a crafty crafter, you can and will figure out how to fix it. I'll be right back. I got to wrap some twine around there, and I need both my hands. Okay, you guys, I fixed it the same way I fixed these sides. This thing is really flimsy, um, So, but that I actually cut. But these just broke when I was trying to take the red sparkly stuff off. But I just put a big glob of glue, and then I took a little bit of jute, and I wrapped it, wrapped it, wrapped it in the glue, and then I squeezed it together. So it is holding it together with that. And I'm just going to keep wrapping my nautical rope.
I'm going to pull this tape off the end. I don't like the tape on the end. If I can get it off, I'm taking it off. So now that this is all wrapped, this is what it looks like. Very rustic, very farmhouse. And I am just going to add some of these lilac floral picks from Dollar Tree. These come in white, purple, pink. And I think I have the purple and pink, but I want the white for this project. And then I have this beautiful frosted boxwood these picks came from um, Walmart for $2. So I like these and I'll be using these as well. And you guys on this nautical rope, you just gotta take your time take your time and wrap and glue wrap and glue because it could get under your skin if you let it crafting is supposed to be relaxing so don't let it get to you I don't know if I want I'm not going to keep this greenery because I'm going to use the box glove I like it better so we're just going to cut the flowers And then we're just going to arrange them off to the side. I am going to be um, attaching these with floral wire. So let me grab that. So this is the first bunch of flowers and greenery attached. Just going to move it around to where I like it there and then I'm going to attach the next bunch of greenery right about here at the bottom and then there's going to be a bow in between you guys know there's going to be a bow. It just has to be. So I'm lining up the greenery, making sure that all the stems are touching because I'm going to wrap this. And if I don't have them all in here, they're going to fall out. Okay, so this is how it looks, and then there'll be a bow here, and that will finish it up. So let me wrap it with the floral wire, and we'll make a bow. So now that I've got the floral wire wrapped, I just put the two ends of it together from here and here, and I twist them together from the top piece and the bottom piece. Cut off what I don't need and then fold this down so it's not a sharp edge sticking up. And then pull and move, rearrange your greenery, your flowers. And this is what it looks like. And we're gonna add 
course, like I said, a bow. So I've got some um, ribbon. It kind of looks like burlap, but it's really not. Excuse me. And then I have this ribbon, which I love. And I don't have very much of this lace ribbon left, but I could make it work with this if I layer it. So I'm going to do that because I do want that pop of white. And I've got some white burlap, but I'm not sure about this. I think it might be a little too much. We'll see. Anyway. Let's make that bow. Just a simple, simple bow. It doesn't have to be super big. Listen to me talking about the bow doesn't have to be super big, and I love big bows. But I'm going to ease up on this one. One, two, three, one, two, and three. I'm just counting the loops to make sure I have even loops on either side. I'm going to put this in the middle. Let me just fold it this way to begin with. Like that. And then I want some of this in here as well. And this is just going to be a simple shoestring bow. I love that this is neutral because it doesn't have to be just Valentine's Day. You can leave it up all year round. So that's what I really, really like about it. I'm going to do my dovetail. And I am going to secure this with floral wire. I normally would use um, jute, but since I have the floral wire out, might as well use it. And I'll be right back. So you guys, this is it. This is the finished product. I hope you like it. I love how it turned out. So if you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Show me out, show me out, show me out, guys. Tell all your friends and family about these delicious bites and more. And maybe they'll stop by and have a wonderful bite or a beautiful craft with me as well. As always, I believe you're capable of amazing things. Please believe in yourself. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and be safe. Be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Bye.